This is my first ever vintage bag. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Erica. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So today I'm going to do another sit down video with you guys. Although it is very gloomy in London, I thought I would just do it anyway. And you guys seem very interested in particularly luxury items. So today I thought I would be sharing another piece in my luxury collection with you guys. Before getting into the video, I just want to say hello to those who are new here. Hi, my name is Erica. I'm a London-based lifestyle blogger and fashion stylist. I love to mix in investment pieces with affordable finds. So if you're into this kind of content, please give me a subscribe in this channel and you can follow me on social or read my fashion blog, which I will list all of them down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Right, so the baby that I'm going to talk about is this one. Look at her, how gorgeous. So this is a vintage saddlebag from Christian Dior, which is from the 90s. And I got it in Festier Collective. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know that. That is a platform for pre-love luxury items. And I got this baby last year back in August, I think. And it wasn't that popular at that period of time. So the price wasn't too bad. I, I paid 390 quid. Not sure the exact amount, but I'll put it right here. The more thing that I want to talk about is the price increase. It's literally mind blowing. Now when I check on Farfetch, it's so much more expensive now. It's, 1800 to get a Christian Dior vintage mini saddlebag. <laughs> it's insane. It's like 4.5 times more. It's not even a year. I should have got more. But I mean like if you really want it, I would suggest you to check on eBay. There should be more like cheaper option or you can you can possibly lead um, a handbag with others. But I'm sure it will be so much cheaper if Right, and you get it straight away from Farfetch. I think I got a promo code at that time, so it was a bit cheaper as well. But I really like it. This is my first ever vintage bag, and this is just so gorgeous. I really, I always wanted to go to the Dior boutique and just to get that saddle bag. But you know, like the price is two thousand eight hundred something to get a new saddle bag. But I just feel like not sure because. I feel like the monogram is quite seasonal as well as the shape. So when I invest in luxury item, I want to make sure it is not seasonal. It is something that I can keep forever. That's why I didn't really go to the boutique and get the new saddlebag, if that makes sense. I'm really, really happy with my purchase. When I see this, when I know this is vintage, when I know I'm doing something sustainable for the fashion community and it just makes me so happy and i really love the color combination it has different colorways i think it has burgundy pink blue beige and also this one maybe five colors i'm not quite sure but um i will show you the images as well um this is so pretty. I just really like it. Also, I think the best thing about this bag is it is so nostalgia. Um, it is from the 90s, uh, which is in the, my generation when I was born. And I just love it so much. It makes me so happy. You might think this bag is quite tiny, but actually it's not. It can fit so many stuff. So I'm just going to show you what I have inside so you can have a better imagination of what you, how much stuff you can fit in. Here is everything that I have and I'm gonna show you one by one. So I have my sanitizer, classic, and I have my AirPods from Apple. I also have my YSL card holder right here. So I also have my key pouch from Louis. It is very gorgeous. Um, I got it from my dad. Um, it's amazing. 
amazing quality. And I also have my lippy. This is the uh, lip palette from Rush. So yeah, it's quite nice. I always use this color because this looks very natural on me. It's kind of like my LBB. And I feel like it, it has that luxurious packaging. Like when you get it out, you're in a restaurant or you're going out with your friends or whatsoever, and you just take this out and open it. Oh, damn, who's that girl? Luxurious. <laughs> Yes, um, so yeah, one of the reasons I love this lip palette is I love the packaging. Gross. Also have my gum, um, just in case. <laughs> so that's it. I can fit in quite a lot of stuff. I can put my mask inside as well. So this is very handy. Oh yes, and I'm gonna show you here. This is the logo right here. And yeah, is it? I think that's it <laughs> and if you see the buckle the silver buckle right here you can see see the engraved right here this is amazing and the leather strap not sure if they're like leather or they're like plastic but um because it is a very old handbag so there are quite a lot of wrinkles so yeah this is it i'll show you how i style this little handbag okay so when i first got this handbag i had such a big fashion dilemma of not knowing how to style this handbag because the monogram everything it just very eye-catching so if you're wearing something like floral print dresses or you you're wearing something super colorful it's not gonna look good so now i have mastered how to style this handbag which is wearing something plain black and white is perfect also beige because it really really makes this handbag as a statement piece in your outfit it also looks very very effortless when you're wearing black white just plain to be honest and yeah i would say less is more with this handbag definitely wear something plain and simple and you got it and you'll be looking amazing with this vintage saddlebag so you can wear it on your shoulder or sometimes if i am running errands i might just pop my stuff like my keys my car holder and my phone and then i'm ready to go so it's so simple i love it so much and also i think this is the front of the bag because you can see there's a leather line in here which is so beautiful so if you look on the back the back is like this so sometimes if you put too much stuff it will get like this can you see yeah the shape is not that perfect i would say the material is not that um tough so that's why if you put too much stuff if you're happy this would happen but i would say sometimes if you put your stuff evenly so for example if i move a few bits a few bits in here so i think now it looks better like that is pretty much it for everything that i want to talk about today this is amazing if i have a daughter in the future i would definitely pass it to her anyways i thank you so much for watching guys i appreciate you guys and let me know if you have any question in the comments and i will see you guys for the next one Bye. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been placing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do best. Slow down. Let me talk to you. Don't tell me about your worries. I ain't